Well, I'm going to walk back up Ball Court. Quite an atmospheric little street, if you ask me. Indicative, I reckon, of what the City of London probably looked like a couple of hundred years ago, or even just a hundred years ago, maybe. So, back out onto Castle Court. The Jamaica Wine House. St. Michael's Alley. Oh yeah, we start, we, yeah, we walked along a little stretch of St. Michael's Alley, off of George Yard. I'll have to walk back up there to see what's up there, but I'm just going to walk back down here because I'm just coming across all sorts of little delights and treasures. Here stood the first London coffee house at the sign of Pasquale Rossi's Head, 1652. So this is the back of a church, obviously. Not sure, I think it might be St. Peter's. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. <laughs> obviously St. Michael's, because it's St. Michael's Alley, so. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> Let's have a look. St. Michael's. Got the front of that. This is a memorial to the Great War. 1914 to 1919. We've got this old tower this old church and you got that tower there that tower is the tallest tower in the city of London not in the whole of London because the shard is the shard is nearly a hundred foot taller than that but that is the tallest building in this part of the city of London So back out onto Corn Hill. There's another plaque to look at. Thomas Gray, poet, was born in a house on this site in 1716. Got a bit of a big conk. This. this church stands on one of the oldest Christian sites in Britain, dating back to the Roman occupation. Jesus. So just uh, it's been a church here for a couple of thousand years, believe it or not. Not that this building is that old, but it's been here a while. How did I not work out that that was St. Michael's Church walking down St. Michael's Alley? What made me think it was St. Peter's? I don't know, but uh, whatever. I'm just going to walk up the end of St. Michael's Alley just to see George Yard. Just to tick this off the list of somewhere that I've seen. Bengal Court, look at that. 
and I've already done that. It's just amazing when you get a different perspective on places when you walk a different way. Look at this little courtyard. I reckon this is probably open later in the day. Unless it's totally private, I don't know. Holy. Church of St Edmund the King. Well, I didn't even know that was there, so that's obviously that little churchyard out the back. That's obviously attached to that, and you wouldn't know it unless you come round the front. Cross the road to get a better look of it. There you go. That's the Church of St Edmund the King. Ground on each side of the doorway of this church containing 206 feet superficial is the freehold property of the parish of St Edmund, the King and Martyr. So it looks like around the side you've got somewhere to walk, but there ain't because if you walk around the side, there's nothing <laughs> like that. Nothing to see here. Morning. Morning. How you doing, all right? <laughs> See, look, this is why you've got to walk back and look at things and look up and look at different perspectives. Up the top there, I didn't notice that before and you might not be able to pick it up well on this camera, but at the top of that building it says the old Pickwickian hostelry. That's <laughs> just mad. You've got this new building, fairly new building, and this building which is, well it's not that new but it's it's newer than what that is in the corner there. You've got that little tiny little strip of really old building there. <laughs> That's amazing. So George Yard is really not much to it. You get a better look at the church from here actually, the back of it. So, St. Michael's Alley again, or was that St. Michael's Court before? Yeah, I haven't been down there, I'm going to have to walk down there, but um, I've got to check out where this goes first. This is Bell Inn Yard. Bell Inn Yard. Gaucho. Quite a well-to-do establishment now. All right, so this is going to be bringing us out onto Gracechurch Street. I won't be going no further than this. So, Bellin Yard. 
This is another strangely quiet street at this time of day because the City of London, or the Corporation of the City of London, have closed this off to traffic as well, except for buses and bicycles. But this is Bellin Yard. Cross keys in, destroyed in 1666, no doubt by the Great Fire. So, St. Michael's Alley. Where does this take us to, I wonder? Uh, that looks like the churchyard, or a little bit of open land. Can you see that from there? This looks like... Oh, shut up. Corbett Colt. It's just amazing, really. There is so much to see, so much history to look at, but not much here. In Corbett's Court. Well, that's another little one to walk down, I suppose, on the way back. Who have we got here? The Mercer's Maiden. It's rubbed off. I can't really see the text. But the date is 1669, and I assume that is the Mercer's Maiden. Coming back out onto Gracechurch Street again. And over there is Leadnall Market. See where this takes us to. Another little pub, the Counting House. Book now for a very special Christmas. That's a bit early, we're in October. The Counting House. Look at that, the door's open, you could walk straight in. Amazing, really. Look at look at the uh, the bell. I like the little bits of detail just been left there. So I'm assuming there's not much to see up here, but I'm going to have a look anyway. St. Peter's Alley. 
Now I knew St. Peter had something to do with this area. That's why I thought that church was St. Peter. I bet there's a church on the corner here, and this is St. Peter's. So there is a St. Peter, look, St. Peter upon Cornhill. This building is in daily use by St. Helens Church Bishopsgate as a study centre for its associate scheme which trains men and women for full-time Christian ministry. It is also used for the St. Helens Youth Group and occasional services. Yeah, I knew there was a St. Peter's here, I thought I was going mad. British Sailor Society or Church of the British Sailor Society at home and abroad. God, that is a crumbling old building. You just can't see it, it's just stuck behind all these other buildings. Peter's Alley, that's where I just was. The Counting House. Oh, that's where we was just round the back there, the Counting House. Right, so I think this walk's going to conclude now because I've pretty much covered all the back streets off of Cornhill, St Peter's Alley. A lot more history than you would ever think. And because you can't drive down these streets, they get, they get overlooked. Cool bits cool. So this little churchyard's open, this is St Peter's Churchyard, I'm going to have a little look in here. You never know, there might be something to see. St Peter's Cornhill. This is the former burial ground of St Peter's Cornhill, which is alleged to have been founded by King Lucius in AD 179. Wow. Burned down in the Great Fire in 1666, the church was rebuilt by Christopher Wren in 1680-81. Charles Dickens comments on the raised churchyard in a striking passage in Our Mutual Friend, noting how the graves were conveniently and healthily elevated above the living. Right, okay. Wow, 71 years that lady lived till. 1813. What must she have seen in her lifetime? Wow, this fella died in his 89th year in 1833. The grave is eight feet south from this stone, so under there.
1822. The dates are amazing, really. <laughs> Just to think we're walking over graves, people buried under the ground here. I mean, before this was a financial centre, you know, it, it was just, it, this was London. So the 2000 years of history started here, really. So these days it's just offices. Not many people live in this part of London. You get a, a few flats, a few places where people live, but, um, It's very underpopulated compared to the rest of London and the rest of the country. So I think that might conclude this walk because I've done everything. Corbett Colt. I think that's me done. Hello again. Hello. Are you making a video? Yeah, just for YouTube. Not many people watch it, but uh, okay. Yeah, just because nobody sees these alleyways, do they? Who sees this? You know, people like me and you, but nobody else. You know. That's true. That's true. But it's quite interesting, I think. But uh, thanks for cleaning the streets up anyway. You're doing us a good service. Thank you. <laughs> cheers, mate. Have a good day, yeah? You too. Cheers. <laughs>